LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks, this is my afterthoughts on the uh, Alexa Grazo versus Felice Herrick fight. Okay, the coach is eating crow this morning. Okay, I got the crow in the pan. I done put me a little salt, pepper, grapeseed oil, because grapeseed oil, you can cook with that. It's good for you. And I got the crow, and I'm frying this crow up, and I'm about to serve this crow up with a garden salad. Okay, the coach is eating him some crow this morning, folks. That's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. Okay, and you know y'all, yuck, 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 yuck. Yep, and I'm laughing too, but I'm not really. But you know what? Hey, it happens. Okay, now I'm finna put the flamethrower. I'm finna put the flamethrower uh, to some of you dudes. Okay, and this this is the part of YouTube that's fun, because I think some of you you always say, coach, you need to do research. Some of you do. Some of you ADDH dudes, y'all need to do some research. Because if you knew anything, you guys would have known that the coach pretty much said exactly what he said and he was honest. Okay? I thought Alexa Grazo would win this fight. Now, let's talk about it. Alexa Grazo, to me, I thought round one could have went either way. So if you would have told me that you thought Alexa won or you thought Felice won, I wouldn't have argued with you in round one. Now, I thought Felice clearly won round two, and I thought Alexa clearly won round three. See, this fight was a lot closer than what it was. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Me, knowing what I know about fights and stylistic matchups, had this fight would have gone five rounds, Alexa Grazo would have won. I'm just trying to tell y'all. If this fight would have went five rounds, she would have won the fight, okay? Because by round three, she was letting her hands go. And she knew that she had to. Uh, she knew she had to. And let me tell y'all. You know, some of y'all say some crazy things. Like, somebody even said that Alexa, you know, she need another team. For what? Why she need another team? She don't need another team. Alexa Lobo is a fine. That's a fine MMA gym. It's a good gym. And she has grown tremendously at that gym. The problem was, Alexa, she didn't follow the game plan that they told her. That's on Alexa. That's not on Lobo. That's not on them. They gave her the game plan. And the game plan that she was supposed to follow was the game plan she did in round three when she laid hands on Felice Harry. That was the game plan that she was supposed to do. So it's not Lobo's fault. It's Alexa's fault. I'm not one of those people that jump off the bandwagon, okay? The coach is an Alexa fan. And guess what? I'm still going to promote her. Because, see, for some reason, you guys you guys want me to have this, this level of integrity where everything's down the line with me but see i noticed that you guys y'all don't challenge the area hawanis y'all don't challenge joe rogan y'all don't challenge what's that other guy that was on tv i forgot his name okay because all of those people karen bryant every last one of those people said that alexa grazo would win so i'm not the only person who thought that alexa would win this fight easy so see but you guys Y'all think that y'all can play a Jedi mind trick on Coach Shelton Harrison. And I know that's what y'all do. See, y'all think that y'all can tell guys like me how to think. You think you can, but you can't. Because I'm going to have my own thoughts. I didn't say, and then somebody said, Coach, you said Felice suck. I didn't say Felice suck. In any video, did, did anybody hear me say that Felice Harris sucks? See, that's what's wrong with some of you guys. You know what's wrong with some of y'all? It's one, y'all got ADHD. I mean, y'all some ADHDA bastards. I mean, good grief, man. And two, y'all don't read and you don't listen. Y'all just don't. That's just how it is. I am not. I ain't said not one video that I said the Bulldog sucks. Not one. Okay? I said the Bulldog was tailor-made for Alexa Grazo. Meaning stylistically. And I can't believe I got to break this stuff down. But it's just some of you, some of you guys don't listen. Like, I literally got to break this down to y'all. I meant stylistically, the matchup, okay, the matchup, but Felice Herrick, and let me go ahead and tell you something now, somebody said, oh, but coach, you don't want to even, um, you don't want to, you don't want to talk about the flaws of Alexa Grazo, oh really, I didn't, let me go ahead and ether your ass right now, let me show you exactly what I made, I made a video called Keys to Victory, it's called Keys to Victory, now it's time to body you. Watch. Felice Herrick. Okay, the keys to victory for Felice Herrick and what she needs to do to obtain a victory over the young hungry lion Alexa Grazo. Okay, here goes. All right. So the first thing, okay, that uh, Felice Herrick is going to have to do, she's going to have to invest in the legs of Alexa Grazo. 
Alexa's lead leg is a little bit too exposed, you know, just for my liking, okay? I think Alexa doesn't really take care of that lead. Okay, now I ain't got time to play this whole video out, but what does this say? One, invest in the leg, because I said Alexa likes to leave that lead leg out. Uh, that's a flaw. Avoid a striking match. Use front kick as a jab when Grasso closes distance, which that's what Grasso was doing, trying to close distance. Stay in Alexa chest. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Faint overhand rights. Because I specifically said in this video that Alexa is suspect to overhand rights. Go watch the video. But you know what? You got ADHD. So you're not going to do that anyway. So stop. Stop it. Okay? See, I love ethering you guys, and I like putting these ether time bombs on y'all. I love doing it. Because you know why? Because I know now that my integrity is golden. I know that I have integrity. I may not support every fighter like I'm supposed to or like y'all think I should, but I'm going to support who I want to support. And, and damn it, I'm going to support Alexa Grazo because I want to support Alexa Grazo. I want to support Nunez, okay? Rand Durandame, Shevchenko. I want to support them. And I will support them because I want to. I don't care how mad you emotional little fanboys get. I don't care how mad y'all get. But don't lie. And oh yeah, and if I call a person a fanboy, okay, the definition of that means that you're crying over a comment that somebody makes about a fighter that you love. Okay? So stop. All of the stuff that you guys coming at kept coming at me with, y'all need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. Either enjoy the videos or hell, just just move on. But you need to stop. See, stop trying to always come to this channel and try to degrade my integrity. Stop trying to do that. Because you guys don't do that to Ariel Hawani. You guys don't do that to Joe Rogan. Y'all don't do that to Brendan Schaub. Y'all don't do it to any of those guys. You don't try to. And they also said the same thing that I said. So listen, try again. Try again. It's not going to work on this particular channel. You not finna play a Jedi mind trick on the coach. You just not finna do it, okay? So you're going to have to miss me with trying to tell me how I need to think. That don't work, okay? You not going to get it. This girl got a future. This girl don't suck. And then somebody said Alexa ain't got no hands. Uh, Yes, she do. She didn't throw those hands like she was supposed to. I mean, and then you got people, it's like, when do y'all start watching fights? I may be new to women's MMA, but I got 20 years experience in the fight game. I got over 20 years experience in fighting. I understand how fights work. So please don't come at me with, oh, well, you just learned, you just learned MMA yesterday. No, I didn't. I've been doing MMA for a long time. Trust me. I can break down any fight and give you an analysis of the fight and tell you exactly what's wrong. I know what the hell I'm talking about. And let me tell you something right now. I am, within this year, I am going to be one of the top channels that's going to deal with women's MMA. Okay? You can say what you want to say, but look, that's how the coach is wired. I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on working. I'm going to keep on making this thing a, a reality. But see, trying to come on here and always discredit my integrity, uh, that shit ain't going to work. And this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.